So we pulled up for a Sanger at a pretty little spot known as Nuns Crossing on the Dawson. Now, Nuns Crossing, no religious significance as far as I'm aware. I don't believe that nuns ever cross here, ever. Tish, you're a good host. Thanks, mate. We're pushing on to another part of the Dawson River this afternoon to a pub in an outback Queensland town that has links to the nation's capital. So as you come down the main street, what do you reckon it might be? Roundabouts, yes. The first town in Queensland to have them. That's because the town planner here was Sir Walter Burley Griffin, the same bloke that designed our nation's capital, Canberra. I reckon we've got him to blame for the worn out front left. Got a little bit of culture for you now on camper. Here we are at the Theodore Home and Garden Cafe with the lovely Jess. Hello, Jess. Hi. How are you going? Good. I love your place. Thank you. Tell me all about it. Uh, it's got a bit of everything. We've got food, garden centre, gift shop, uh, a lot of local pro products. We've got a local collective. Yeah. All sorts of artwork and stuff. There's art on the walls. There is art on the walls. I mean, who would have realised that um, Theodore was such a cultured place? We have many talented people here. This looks like the work of the uh, local contemporary artist Ethel Bean. I know that because her name's just written there. The pub here in Theodore is another oddity. It's owned by the community. That's right, not a community-owned bank, but a community-owned hotel. And it's heritage listed because of its unusual design. One of the must-dos in Theodore is an afternoon sunset cruise on the Dawson River and a cold beer with a few of the locals. The Dawson is not only pretty, she's the lifeblood of this part of central Queensland. I'll tell you what, these Theodore locals are friendly. This is Chris. Say good day, Chris. How you going, Dean? <laughs> Mate, um, what do you call this? Have you got a name for this experience? This is the Dawson River Cruise. How important is the Dawson to the locals of Theodore? Right? It's a vital waterway, isn't it? Yeah, it's a vital waterway. Well, we've got a lot of irrigators that, uh, you know, it supplies a lot of farmers with water. Also, it's a, it's a good fishing, uh, you know, like there's a lot of fishing here. You've got a water ski club here, I yeah, see. Yeah, water ski club. You know, we're trying to get this up and going so we can create some more activities on the water which we you know we've got a great venue here so we need to utilize it a lot more now tourism is the thing that uh, that i'm interested in around here these sandstone wonders I, you know it's a, it's an amazing part of the state and it's a part of the state as a local you must be very proud of because i mean there's all these little nooks and crannies around this banana shire that people don't know about and it's great for four-wheel drivers and off-roaders and campers isn't it oh yes no it's, it certainly is we've got uh, the isle of gorge not far out of, out of town then we've got um, Oh, the old uh, Convict Road, and there's uh, lots of things to look at here, for, uh, coming out here, you know, like, and just to take the time to look at and uh, a lot of history here. They do say that if once you drunk the Dawson River water, you never leave. A little bit of luxury for us tonight in the cabins behind the pub. Quality accommodation, and I'm looking forward to an afternoon on the deck and a good night's sleep after a few days in the swag. Theodore is definitely worth checking out. The Sandstone Wonders brochure of the Banana Shire has lots of itineraries for a stay of a few days or more. Head to sandstonewonders.com and you can also contact the OQTA for more info.